Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly once again coming at you, Bishop Bowser. I saw a YouTube video by a YouTuber that goes by the screen name Too Gangster for YouTube. And one of the things that he was talking about is some things that academics said about Los Angeles versus Chicago, Philly, Jacksonville, and Memphis when it comes to violence or homicides and and really kind of like putting down Los Angeles as though you're not violent, you're not dangerous, city, things like that. And so, but really kind of instigating things. But you know, one of the things I want to uh, bring out, I, I first want to give you some stats and show you why what academics is saying is not only wrong, but dangerous. Um, first of all, when you look at let me just, I just want to point out a, a couple of cities, a couple of cities back there in the east and, and a couple of cities here in the west. Uh, when you look at Chicago and Philadelphia, right, and you look at the homicide clearance rate, the homicide clearance rate for Chicago is 51%. The homicide clearance rate for uh, Philadelphia is 63%. A couple years before that, that was last year, 2023. But a couple years before that, it was at 43% or somewhere, give or take, up in that area. So it's been a 20% increase in homicide clearance rate. And therefore, in, both, in, in, in Philadelphia, about 17% of homicides it have dropped, right? Um, when you look at Los Angeles, Los Angeles has a about a... 76% clearance rate on homicides. And in some areas of, of the Los Angeles region, it's even higher, right? And so the higher the homicide clearance rate is, the lower or the less violence or homicides you will see. You know, for example, I'll give you San Diego, where I'm from. San Diego has a homicide clearance rate of 82%, right? 70, I think about 76%, 75%, in the whole region of San Diego, but 82% in the city of San Diego, right? And that's why homicides are very low because when people know, like you, you can even talk to the mafia and other different folks who organize crime and know how to make hits, right? They say it's almost impossible these days, right? To commit a crime and think you're gonna get away with it because New York is another place that uh, really has brought down crime and violence and so on, even though they say it's rising a little bit now, but it's been one of the top 10 safest cities in America before. And so um, when you look at that and when you talk about the, the, the homicide clearance rate and you look at the violence that's happening in that city, many times where there's a high homicide clearance rate, the homicides are very low, right? And so surveillance and uh, the intelligence that the police use these days really, really, really uh, play a serious role in um, whether homicides are going to get solved or not. So when you see people like cities like uh, Chicago and maybe Memphis and Jacksonville and, and, and Philadelphia, you see a high homicide rate because you have a um, low homicide clearance rate. So people are emboldened to get out there and commit homicides and so on and kill people. But also, I don't believe that that's the only thing that does it, but it's also you got to address the underlying issues, um, you know, in the community. You need OGs. I heard them talk about OGs. You need your OGs who are really true OGs and elders and examples who have come out of the mines and now can lead others out of that dark hole. Right, not those that still involved, still engaged, and still got a childish mindset, but those who are really have made a change in their life and trying to help others make those changes, right? And when you have OGs that are active in the community, when you fight and have a community come together to bring more resources in the community, then you have um, a less likely chance of having homicides and violence and so on. So to really compare cities like that, it's not right. But the second thing, the reason why this is dangerous it's because you're promoting violence. And what you're saying is, is that it's cool to have a high homicide rate in your city. It's cool to be known as uh, as a city to be dangerous, right? But I think being cool is when you're safe and when you leave your doors open, when you can walk the street at one o'clock at night and not worry about being shot or mugged or anything like that. I think it's cool when you, our school, our kids, right? 
can go to school safely, right? Go to school safely and return home safely. That's what's cool. What's cool is, is when you don't have to worry about being shot and seeing little kids being killed and so on and so forth. That's what's cool. It's not cool to have a high homicide rate and say, oh, my city is the most violent and I grew up in that culture. And I've seen that, right? Where people really think there's something when their city is violent versus when it's not violent. I don't care where you go, in any city, there's a great potential of you being harmed if you disrespect people, right? If you do the wrong thing, I don't care where you go. You go to one of the most safe cities in America and you disrespect somebody, you'll end up dead. So it's not so much as that, but I, I think that uh, people like um, DJ Academics and other podcasters are promoting uh, violence, right? And they're worse than culture vultures, vultures because they are gaining they are getting rich off of this right promoting this violence promoting the negativity on in the media and so on and so forth right and DJ Demis from Jamaica he didn't even grow up in this culture this gang culture and this and, and so on so you know he really needs to fall back and you know keep his mouth shut when it comes to things like that continue to do your rapping and your podcasting on hip-hop and all of that but when it comes to this gang thing, uh, you really need to fall back because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand our culture. You don't understand this lifestyle and so on. And by the way, you're promoting violence. You're promoting people to harm each other, right? And people listen to that stuff. And, and then some youngster uh, see you and say, oh, LA, LA we got to pick it up. We got to make we got to make it more violent so that, you know, we can be on the top where they won't say that about us. But um. Uh, like um, two gangsta for YouTube said, you know, get get the get the money, make the bag, focus on the positivity, do things that that you should be doing in a sense of doing the right thing versus the wrong thing, and turn away from those things. We have to um, uh, uh, turn from that. And the thing about DJ Academics and our clothes is that very arrogant. He thinks his money make him who he is. But a man, uh, money don't make a man, man makes money. And you need to understand pride goes before destruction and a haughty uh, spirit before fall. We should be educating our people because God said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And so we need to start educating our young people so that they can understand that making these rap videos about violence and uh, uh, killing and harming each other is not the way for our community. We are annihilating and destroying each other. And that's what the enemy wants to see. All right, God bless you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.